Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while, like two, three months, but we'll just go with it. Today I'm gonna be showing you my December TBR or what I'm hoping to get to read this December. I've got four books and I've kind of been in and out of a reading slump. There's been sort of like a reading slump lingering around and I just haven't gotten much reading done. First. So the first book that I'm going to be showing, I've already started. I'm a little bit more than halfway done with it. And I'm hoping to finish it by this week. And that is A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. This is the first time I'm reading this book. And so far, I am loving it. Talks about his time in Paris, what he used to do. And he talked about his friends like Ezra Pound, Gertrude Stein, Scott Fitzgerald and about his wife Hadley and his firstborn son and it's just a very interesting glimpse at his life during this time and he writes about very I want to say mundane things like going to cafes and writing and going like to the horse races and meeting up with friends and things that are very mundane he's able to really paint this beautiful picture about them with his words and his prose is just very great. It's simplistic but in this simplicity there's a lot of art and a lot of detail without giving too much details away and hopefully I get to finish this by December because I sort of want to do a more in-depth review with it. And the next book I have is a big book. It's It by Stephen King. I originally purchased this in October because I wanted to read it um, during that month and get into the whole Halloween vibe. But I did not get to it. I did not even crack it open. But hopefully I get to read it by December because... I also like reading like scary stories during this time of year because like the nights are longer. And this book is pretty much about this thing called It who can, who can like shape shift and he terrorizes this town in Maine called Derry. And yeah, it's all about like I guess these seven kids who deal with him and then they grow up and they have to deal with him again. It sounds very interesting and it's like a very like famous pop culture book and the next book I have is Writers by Veronica Rossi um it seems really interesting it's about this guy who dies and then he's not dead and he discovers that he is war one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse and I hope it's good I haven't really heard a whole lot of things about this but it seems like it's a subject matter that really interests me, like the whole like apocalypse and horse, the four horsemen. So yeah, the fir the next book we have is Maggie Steve Water, The Raven Boys. I've heard a lot of good things about this book in BookTube, and it just I don't know. I just want to see what the hype is all about. From what I gathered, this book is about a clairvoyant named Blue. Who, we get, who goes on a quest with these boys from a private school who call themselves the Raven Boys. And that's pretty much all I've gathered from the synop synopsis. I do, hopefully I like all the books I get to read this October. October, hopefully I like all the books I get to read in December. And hopefully I get to read them all. I just... I want to get back in the grind of things and if you have read any of these books below comment down below if you enjoyed them or didn't like them or just comment down below if, you, if you've read them and what your thoughts were about them and thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time the way I'm doing things I'll probably see you guys in two months hopefully not hopefully I get my shit together and I'll see you guys next time